ti 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 Welcome everybody, welcome, it is the 1st of July, 2021. Yeah, I'm just here in the studio. As you can see, I am just doing a bit of kneading here. Thought I'd give you a bird's eye view from, or well, not a bird's eye, maybe a, an ant's eye view. Just giving this this clay here a few turns, and there it is. Woo! Yeah. Uh, let's see. Um. <clears throat> I wanted something like a pound. Uh. Actually, yeah, we'll just add a little bit more to that. A smidgen more, that'll do. 15 ounces or so. Yeah, I'm making, I don't know, I had an inspiration. Yeah, I've got a few things here. I'm waiting to trim off some small bowls. Uh, it's really for doing some experimental stuff. This is another one of these um, tea bowls, uh, the seashell. Uh, different seashell ones. And that one is the almond can't remember, did I show you that one? With the, this guy, the almond. And um, yeah, I want to do put some iron slip actually over some of these. Yeah, so yeah, this guy here, what I'm making, um, I'll just cut him off. Uh, maybe we have another. Bit more light here. A little bit extra light down there. Yeah, so the idea of this is basically a make a sort of, sort of for a spray of uh, flowers. A spray of flowers. I've actually I've got this red iron oxide slip here which I I really actually should do that now I think uh, put that on I'm gonna throw another one um, but while I've got it there on the wheel I should, should have done that before I cut it off but never mind Never mind. So this is just red iron oxide slip. 75% red clay, 25% red iron oxide. So I'm gonna use that to Yeah, so basically the, the, the idea behind this is a, a thrown vase that is that is flattened like that, you see, so that you can then get a nice spray, a nice spray, a nice spread of flowers. Ah, I thought it would be. It's going to be a difficult customer to trim, so I'm not going to be bothering to trim it, I'll just thumb it off. Uh, what I wanted to do was get some of this uh, red iron oxide over the outside of it because I want to do I want to do 
hacking me over it. The question is... So hacker me always comes out better if you have a, a darker clay body underneath, you see. So that when you put the white slip of the hacker me over um, you get the you get the contrast for the with the the darker you can I mean it's okay if you have a a, a a clay body that is naturally dark but this clay body is not really quite as dark as I would like it anyway I'm just trying to maximize the contrast so that's something you can do I've done a t-ball over here you see did this yesterday so this is one where when it was on the wheel I just Use the brush and brush that over it. Maybe we'll trim that in a minute. Okay, so that guy is now done. Now I can take him off. Because I'm going to make another. I'm just, uh, this is all a bit experimental, you see. Just having fun. <laughs> yes. yes. Greetings, everybody. I actually... I was going to be in Waco, Texas. So greetings to all of those down there. MJ, Stephanie, Brandon. But they were loaded, the, the, the workshop got postponed right at the last minute, the day before, because some of that flu showed up. Some of the Wuhan flu. So. So they got put back to a different a different day, a different occasion. We'll go down there though. We're supposed to be going down to Texas actually in August again. So yeah. Just wondering uh, because this item I'm making is for flowers whether I'm going to leave the base somewhat thick here because then what I'll do is I will when it's leather hard with a hole borer I'll put holes in it to, to make a, what do you call it, you know, one of those things you put down in the bottom of a, uh, a vase to hold the stems of the, of the, whatever you're putting in there, you know. All right, we'll just bring in this clay up. So, a bit narrow in the foot there. Actually, having a bit of extra weight down the base there. Probably be a good thing, because it'll keep it... Keep it a bit more stable, you know. So pulling it up. Yeah, it's quite nice, I think, to have a a vase that is turned more into a sort of like a fan, a fan design, if you like. It, 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 it sort of displays the, my throwing stick, one of my throwing sticks, it's split in two. This is one I made out of a Venetian blind. It's actually made out of cane, but it, 
anyway. So I'm just using uh, that just to Yeah, so at the moment it's just like a I basically just thrown a funnel, haven't I? No, I don't I'm not going to be able to trim these afterwards. So I've got to basically I've got to finish the foot down here. I'm going to put in a bevel down there. I wanted to make the foot not so that it looks kind of um, clumsy and clunky. I wanted the foot to have a little bit of finesse about it so I'm sort of trying to incorporate that now into the designs. Where's the other one I did? Okay, yeah. Okay, um, yeah, I'll just bring down the camera, show you that quickly. Yeah, have a go at doing one of these that you might have. So it's basically, actually the thing that I had in the bottom, I've accidentally kind of smoothed it out without thinking. But, so, there's the foot, which will be thumbed off, you see. So basically, at the moment, it just looks like a, you know, like a funnel shape, really. But what we're going to do is, I'm just going to leather that one. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and do this. I'm actually going to. Just stiffing it, stiffening it a little bit. I don't want it to touch. Yeah, I was just thinking having a thing down in the bottom. I think they call it a rose, I'm not sure. I was just thinking that that might... So you could sort of stick the stems in, which would hold them all in position. I'll figure out something about how to do that. How to do that, yeah. So what I liked about the idea was it presented two flat sides here and over here and that would lend it lend itself to having like a hackamy a hackamy design more a little bit like a a picture Okay, I'm going to give that a blast.
notice as I'm heating it up how now it's 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 opened out, isn't it? I'm just gonna because as the clay is heating up, it's it's drying and it's shrinking, and that is causing the form to to change. Of course it's still much softer down at the base here than at the top because the top got more of the blast you know. Yeah it's just a it's just a flower vase isn't it really with a difference so that you can Maybe I could put my letters in there in the morning, my mail, you know, could be a mail pot. <laughs> a what? Yeah. So your mail has arrived. Yeah, just put it in the mail pot, Jeeves. Thank you. All right, so there is that. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to get some of this this slip on here this hasn't got to be too precise you know I'm just putting some slip on it's going to create a bit of a backdrop And then we're going to come along and when this is a little bit dried off, put a, well actually I've got one over there ready to do. Going to have to watch the time though because the my video shuts off at 29 minutes and 57 seconds for some reason. Okay, so we're going to cut him off. Where's that other guy? Do, do, do. Carefully get underneath him. You can always come back to these, you see, a bit later when they're when they're a little stiffer but still still a little bit soft so you can just fine tune the the shape okay folks there is a couple of vases I've got them over here right yes this other vase that this is actually kind of almost rear ready for the hackamy Trouble is I don't have the Hakami uh, prepared at the minute. So I'm not going to rush that, but I do have here a few tr tea bowls just need trimming. So we'll do that instead. Yeah, today it's a rainy day. That's why I've got the door shut here. Are we in the picture? Are we, are we okay out there? Hope you've all been practicing. All right. So yeah, basically with these small little V bowls, um, I had some out of the kill and I should have had them here to show you. Uh, let me just, give me 30 seconds. I'm just gonna check in my, place up here, see if I've got them. Can't remember if I brought them in from the kiln or not.
No, I didn't bring them in. They're still out of the kill ship. But I brought one here to show you that's pretty similar, just to give you some idea. So that's kind of their sort of like classic Hakami. You see the white slip underneath and then the decoration over the over top. So that's what these these are gonna be, you know. In case you don't know what I'm talking about. Whoa! Yeah. Alright, let's just trim one of these. Here's one of these ones that I did with the uh this almond guy. We'll trim him. So yeah, when you're trimming, don't have the wheel going too far. Electric wheel it is really not conducive for nice trimming because it's, you're not in control of the thing really. Yeah, taking orders on these leech treadle wheels, folks. If anybody's anybody still making pots out there these days, ha, ha, ha. all right. Have a look at that. So yeah. So. Um, that's with the ar the arm and design, which will have wood ash blown over the outside of it. I quite think I'm yeah. I'll have to see what they're like when they come out before I pass judgment on them. Um, I think I'm liking them at the minute. Yeah. So we do have an open schedule of workshops here, but this year it's. Very sad, not many people wanting to come on workshops, it seems. Uh, that's okay. I need a break. <laughs> yeah, I get to go other places a bit more then. So, but yeah, if you want to come on a workshop, we do still, are, we are still hosting some workshops here, in-person workshops. Um, so write to me for details, simonleachpotter at gmail.com. As I said to you before, I'm doing a batch of these leech treadle wheels if you need one, which you do. <laughs> it's just that you may not know it yet, but you do. <laughs> uh, get in touch with me. And what else can I say? I guess, uh, yeah, Zoom, Zoom. Zoom, if you want to do Zoom, we do Zoom here on the TV. Okay, I've got a little webcam up here. So I can see you right there, right in front of me, and you need to get your, your iPad or your laptop close to your wheel at your end, and we'll do a one-on-one -on -one, uh, Zoom session. Okay? If that grabs you, write to me for details, okay? Thanks for joining me, folks. Simon Leach saying, keep practicing. It's all in the practicing, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Dee, 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 dee.